we're gonna make edible candles. That's what I call it. First you need jars. I have mason jars and this is the eight ounce mason jars or care jars. I have these organic hemp week I bought from Amazon. I have my scissors, I have my glue, and I tie a knot to the end of the hemp wick. Or you can just buy candle wicks from Amazon or eBay or wherever. Um, but I prefer the hemp because it burns slower, much more slower than the cotton candle wicks. Then I attach the nuts to the bottom middle part of the jar with my glue. And I hold it stable with anything I have. I use pens, styluses, whatever. You can use anything just to keep it up straight. Now these are my scented oils. You can use any one you wish. I have a variety of them I had over the years. And I also bought this once on eBay recently. I'll leave the link down below to see where you can find them. They smell fantastic. Now I'm using Crisco. It's vegetable shortening. It's good for your skin, good for your food, you use it for baking, it's scentless, and I'm gonna melt it in a pot of water. So let the shortening melt completely to its like oil and leave it to cool to about somewhere less than 120 Fahrenheit. Just to make sure that the, the scent of the scented oils don't disappear, and they would if it's really hot, so you have to let it cool down a little bit so the scent can mix perfectly with the shortening now what i do is i mix the oil and the shortening in portions like i put small shortening then a few drops of oil then shortening then oil and i stir it up with a rod or whatever so this is how i do it just take your time so you don't make any spills So this is what it looks like after being left outside in my kitchen for 20 minutes at room temperature. Then I kind of label out every single scent. I mix some oils together, some scented oils together so I could get the particular scent I was looking for. And you can see I labeled them. That way I don't forget and I know which one I wanted a particular time. I chopped off the extra weeks the wig strings just a little bit like um, less than an inch above the candle so it doesn't burn too fast you know I want a steady burning face with the candle and the wigs that way it reduces the amount of smoke that comes out on the candle so I'm gonna try and put them in the fridge to see if it gets harder So I left it in the fridge for like 30 minutes and you can see what it looks like. It's pretty hard but the top obviously because it's oil, everything in there is oil. It's okay. I mean you can, people use it for their skin. You can if you want but I just want what I call my organic candles. And my entire fridge smells so nice right now. You can't believe how strong those oils from eBay. I mean if you ever have the chance you should get some. So, well, I will show you in the next video how long the candles last. Please feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you.